Hey y'all, Tons, welcome back. We've got another scope review. It is the Pulsar Thermion 2 XQ35 Pro. Uh, that is a new model number that has just been developed or just put out on the market here recently. I'm glad you joined us. We're going to jump right into the review, video, specs, a bunch of different things. But before we do that, uh, if you are looking for a brand new night vision or thermal optic, you have questions, you need advice, uh, we sell them over at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. You can call us at 877-350-1818. We would love to help you. Uh, when you call up and you talk to Angela or Michaela, uh, you can either ask for me, uh, Hans, you can ask for Jason. If you have questions and need advice, uh, you've come to the right right place. You can actually call and talk to somebody that knows and people that have used this stuff out in the field. So the brand new Pulsar Thermion 2 XQ35 Pro, we reviewed it on the Late Night Vision Show podcast. I think it was episode 236. If my memory is correct, you can jump on over to the Late Night Vision Show on the uh, on their YouTube channel or the Late Night Vision Show dot com. We have got 238 episodes live right now for you to watch. Uh, and it is all night vision and thermal optics reviews and hunting topics. Anything at night that you want to do legally hunting wise, you can find it there. But I am excited to talk about this brand new uh, this is not an entry an entry level uh, thermal scope. We would consider this more, I guess, mid range thermal. It's a 384 resolution, but we're going to jump into all the specs, show you some videos, likes, dislikes, um, anything else you need to know about it. Come back here. There's some things that they changed and tweaked on on this, but let's talk about what the XQ35 Pro replaced. So you may know or you may not know the Pulsar Thermion to XQ38 is gone. Uh, they've, they've moved on and people will say, well, why did they get rid of it? Not for any particular reason. Not that it's a, it was a bad optic, not that they had problems with it. No reason. There's no conspiracy theory. Every couple years, all thermal manufacturers will cycle in and out optics. They'll change them. You, you remember a couple years ago, Pulsar had the XM38, XM50. They got rid of those. They've replaced them with the XQ38. They go back and forth. There is no big reason to tell you the truth, but the XQ38, uh, the Thermion 2 XQ38 is gone. It is replaced by the Thermion 2 XQ35 Pro, and we'll tell you what all that means. But the uh, the specs, uh, let's run those down real quick. So the price on this, $3,299. Uh, it comes with a three-year manufacturer warranty. That warranty is with Pulsar. Uh, and if you have any issues, that uh, that optic uh, would go back to, if you're watching this in the United States, that optic would go back to their facility uh, in, in Texas. So uh, it's a 384 by 288 thermal core resolution, 17 micron. It does have the new uh, minus 25 uh, any TD thermal sensor on it. So that's what the pro means. Whenever you see pro, it's got the new under 25 millikelvin sensor on it. Starts at two and a half power, goes to 10 power, and that is digital magnification. Uh, 50 hertz refresh rate. It's got a 1024 by 768 uh, AMOLED display, video and audio recording, picture in picture display, rechargeable uh, Pulsar proprietary batteries with 10 hour runtime. We'll talk a little bit more about that later as well. Uh, 10 reticle options eight color palette options, uh, Wi-Fi with the Stream Vision 2 app, 1400 yard detection range with a 300 yard ID range. Uh, the field of view at 100 yards is 56 feet. It is recoil rated for 375 H&H caliber and a 12 gauge shotgun. It's a very high recoil rating uh, and it'll operate minus four degrees up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit with a weight of 40 ounces. So that is the... Uh, uh, those are the specs. I want to talk to you a little bit uh, and do a little bit of a walk around. So I've got this mount or this scope in a mount. This is not the mount that the scope comes with. It will mount with any set of 30 millimeter rings. Uh, Outdoor Legacy Gear, we sell the American Defense Manufacturing Locking Quick Release Mount. A very high quality mount. You're getting a good scope. Put it in a good mount. $199. It's worth it. You can take it on and off and not re-zero it. So, uh, the top turret right here is where uh, the, there's two different style of batteries that this scope can operate with on this top removable battery. There's got an internal battery, non-removable. They've got a removable battery right here. It's what they call, Pulsar calls the APS-2. That's the shorter battery. Uh, and then there's the APS-3, the longer battery. It comes with two top turrets or battery caps that you can use this and it comes with an APS-2 battery that you can use on top. If you want an APS-3, you can buy a spare extra batteries. 
uh, again from Outdoor Legacy. Uh, and we sell those extra batteries, but it comes with the shorter APS-2 to run with when you get it out of the box. It does, it does also come with uh, a, a USB-C cable to plug into a, a computer to download videos or to plug uh, directly into the wall to charge your optic if you just want to charge both batteries uh, without taking them out of the scope. Uh, plastic spring-loaded uh, lens cover. It's got the fully... Uh, focusable objective lens here with this rubber uh, band right here that turns and that focuses the optic. This rubber uh, ring right here focuses the eyepiece. It also comes with a rubber eye cup. I don't shoot with these styloscopes with the eye cup on it, but it does come with it in the box. So you will get the rubber eye cup. It's got your button layout on top. Those are your most commonly used buttons. You got your power button, your magnification button, your record button. And then on the side here, this the side turret is your, when you hold it down, that's a menu button and it's got a twisting dial to scroll through the menu. On this side is just where your USB-C plug is. So you can plug it uh, into the wall, into your computer, or if you want to run it off an external battery pack, uh, you can do that as well. Now, you you may remember the XQ38, uh, the bell of the scope on the XQ38, which is much smaller. Uh, and this one, if you look at a, uh, a 50 millimeter pulsar, it is going to have the same bell size now, uh, as the, uh, the 35, it's just the, the objective lens is smaller in this. And, and so th they do that for several reasons. I mean, for manufacturing, think about how easy it is just to use one form factor and put two different size lens lenses in it. it's much simple. I'm sure it cuts down on production costs, all of that. And for us, it really doesn't mean anything. I think it actually looks better with the larger, uh, bell, uh, on the end of it instead of the smaller, more slim bell, it will clear your rifle bolt action, AR style rifle, uh, in these mounts. I mean, it'll clear, you won't have to worry about it hitting your, uh, your handrail of your AR or messing with your, your bolt action rifle. So it will clear if there's enough room, especially with these mounts that we use. But again, it'll mount with any set of 30 millimeter rings. Uh, that's a walk around of the scope. I mean, let's talk about, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, again, this mount you can pick up with Outdoor Legacy. The likes, uh, well, let's start with the dislikes. Really, <laughs> the, the only dis, I guess the, the dislike is going to turn into a like. The only dislikes that we had of this Thermion scope from Pulsar for the longest time, Jason and I, when we would do the, our reviews, was the battery life. The battery life was four hours, maybe six hours. I mean, that was kind of stretching it in cold weather, though, is closer to four. Uh, well, what uh, all the pro models on on the Thermions, what they've been able to do is essentially double the battery life. So now on a on the standard internal battery and the removable APS-2 battery, you're getting almost 10 hours of runtime. So they've pretty much doubled the battery life. And it's not they're they're not different batteries. They you know it's not different battery sizes. Basically, I think that what they've done is uh, they've. Uh, I guess, increase the efficiency of how the scope runs uh, essentially is what they've done. So they've been able to stretch that out. So the past negatives were uh, the, the battery life. Uh, and now we can't really talk about the bad battery life anymore. So now I've got to switch to the weight. Uh, it weighs 40 ounces. I mean, uh, you don't buy these scopes. This is not the style of scope that you're going to buy. If you need something, you can take on and off the rifle and use it as a monocular and stick it back on. Um, I, you would never hear me suggest somebody buy a scope if that's what the plans that you have for it. It's 40 ounces. I mean, it's the size of a regular, nice daytime uh, optic. I mean, it's, you know, the, the weights are pretty close to the same. So, I mean, again, you don't buy these because it's lightweight. Um, you buy these because of the high quality optics. So the weight really, uh, I would say is the only negative again, 40 ounces in weight. Um, but it's very standard in weight to the other style of scopes by the other manufacturers. They're all pretty close to the same weight because of, uh, of the, the design and layout, you know, and all the components on the inside. Now the likes. Uh, Pulsar, one of the leaders in the industry, they continually uh, are updating and improving the products. They are uh, stretching the bounds of, of what they can do. And, and they have always have the attention of the other, other thermal manufacturers that are always watching them and, and uh, always trying to, 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 I think, do what they can to uh, uh, keep up with Pulsar. And Pulsar uh, makes it hard for them. They, they make it challenging for them now. 
Uh, the competition in this industry has gotten very stiff. Uh, there's a lot of good thermal companies out there out there right now that are doing a lot of great things, and Pulsar continues to be one of them. Uh, so great customer service, I would say, is another positive. The picture image on this, we said the ID range is about 300 yards. That's being able to tell really the difference between a coyote and a small deer. If you're trying to tell the difference between a hog and a and a deer or or larger animals, it might be a little bit further. But 300 yards is is to be expected with this uh, and it might be a little bit less and worse uh, weather conditions might be a little bit more in, in, in better dish, uh, conditions, but 300 plus or minus yards, I would say, which is pretty standard again for this resolution and for this magnification level. Uh, I, I love the fact that uh, again, they are, um, they're, they're improving the thermal sensor, you know, that, that, minus 25 millikelvin thermal sensor. Uh, it is a sensitive sensor on here. So, I mean, it's picking up more uh, heat uh, and it is displaying that uh, in a way where it stands out brighter on the screen. So uh, just twerking and, and trying to tweak all the stuff out of the scopes that they can. Um, I would also say, you know, with that larger bell, uh, this is aesthetically, I mean, I think it looks better with that larger bell than the smaller uh, bell that was on it when the, you know, when they had the XQ 38, but this is the price on is 32 99. Um, you are not getting a less scope than the XQ 38. So there's some people are like, Oh man, that's the XQ 35 and it's 32 99, but the XQ 38 was 32 99. Uh, you know, they think that the, since it's a lower number 35, that maybe they're getting less. You're really not. The, the picture image on this is going to be better than the XQ 38 because of that thermal sensor, the size of the, Objective lens really not going to make that big of a deal at all. Really, if you're trying to del tell the difference between picture, picture image, it's going to be thermal sensors and the components in the thermal core that are going to make the biggest difference. So, this is a good buy. Again, Pulsar keeping their prices; uh, they're not going up in price. You know that the price of that that uh, mid grade thermal at thirty two ninety nine has stayed the same, uh, but they're continuing to add to it and, and make great improvements. So, if you've got more questions about the Pulsar. Thermion to XQ35 Pro, if you want to know what it means, if you want to know how it stacks up against other thermals in the industry uh, of similar make and of similar specs uh, around the same price, call us 877-350-1818. You can find it again on the website, outdoorlegacygear.com. Uh, it is uh, Thanksgiving of 2022, so thank y'all. Uh, and I hope all of you had a, a happy Thanksgiving and uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts over at Outdoor Legacy for continuing to call us and trust us for all of your uh, outdoor hunting needs, optic-wise. So we uh, we really appreciate it. We've got more uh, reviews coming up. We've got the Pulsar Merger coming up review. Um, we've got the X the Pulsar Thermion 2 XQ50 Pro and Pro LRF review uh, also coming up. So stay tuned right here on the Hans ETX YouTube channel. Y'all keep making them bacon pancakes and stay safe on the fields.